the star of the new Law and Order, Sam Waterston. I had such a uh, lovely time interviewing your daughter, Catherine, here on the show. You showed up at the end of the interview. That was on November 7th, 2016, which I call the last normal day in America, because it was the day before the election five years ago. Yes, indeed. And uh, I'm just curious, as, as, a, as a father and with children going into show business, did you encourage them? Did you, were you, did you worry about your children going to show business? Uh, I worried about them going into it, and I worried them about them being in it, and it's a constant worry. What advice did you give them? Or did, you, did you have them talk to any of your actor friends or anything? Well, uh, my son James mm -hmm. worked at uh, Sundance one summer, and Alan Alda was there, and they got into a conversation about this, and what are you going to do and when you grow up and all that stuff. And he said he thought he was going to be an actor, and Alan Alda said, Oh, I don't know. And, and, uh, <laughs> and James said, well, well, what do you think? And he said, I think if you can possibly not do it, don't do it. Right. No, otherwise, I understand Otherwise, that. if you can, you know, yeah. very good luck to you and all that stuff. So, so that's the dark side. But the bright side is that I've gotten to work with these people on the stage. You got to work with your own kids? I worked with my... The only one that I have yet to be able to work with is Catherine, mm. because, you know, she's awfully, she's awfully successful and stuff. And it's like, <laughs> so you can't get booked it's weird, kind of hard on to a book Catherine a Waterston yeah. project, is yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. So there's there's no Harry Potter for you. No, right. exactly. So, yeah. but the others, um, Elizabeth, mm -hmm. played my daughter in Much Ado About Nothing, in Central Park which was the play that I was doing in that same theater when I met her mother. Wow. Nice closed loop. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, that was a good play. Yes. <laughs> um, and then I got to spend 45 minutes on the stage alone with my son James saying, Eugene O'Neill's words in Long Day's Journey into Night. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, you know, you can't it's do nice. that kind of thing. And then oh. Graham wrote a movie and directed it, and he wrote a part for me, and I, so he directed me in it. Well, that's nice. So, oh, yeah. Nice. We'll pay back for Dad. Yeah, so, so Catherine, if you're listening, you know. He's ready. Yeah. Now, you've, you've worked some extraordinary people. Uh, Robert Redford, Gilda Radner, Mike Nichols, Glenn Close. The list goes on and on in a 60-plus year career. Do you ever get starstruck yourself? Oh, sure. Do you, oh, you, yeah. Do you have a particular moment you'd care to share with us? Well, you know, I was totally starstruck by Robert Redford. Um, Greg Gatsby. Yeah. But uh, he has a way of just sort of taking all the air out of that balloon. He just makes everything so easy. Smile but it does, it didn't stop, you know, uh, you know, it didn't stop that. <laughs> um, Sundance. And that still continues. Yeah. But, um, but then Catherine Hepburn was really something. Oh, what did you do with Catherine Hepburn? The Glass Menagerie. OK. A movie version of it, if you, which if you haven't seen it, it's really very good. I imagine she she must be fairly fairly intimidating. Yeah, she she is, and she, and she also knows how to make an entrance. She had a house on Turtle Bay, famously, mm -hmm. um, and I went there and I was ushered into the living room, great big living room, garden in the back and all that stuff, very high ceilings, and uh, by Phyllis her. Amanuensis, British, and pretty, pretty, you didn't mess with her. <laughs> and uh, so I, she said, sit down there, and I sat down there, and then there was a long period of quiet, and I'm not sure there was a clock, but if there had been a clock, you would have heard it ticking. <laughs> and then somebody started coming down the stairs, and I heard the feet, and then is he there yet? <laughs> and it was her. Wow. 
What do you do? Do you curtsy? <laughs> 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 That's what you do. Well, Sam, it's so lovely to see you. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs> the revival of Law and Order airs Thursdays on NBC. It's Sam Waterston, everybody. We'll be right back with Sophia Bush. Thank you, Sam.